Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you one of the big secrets of any tech. What do I mean by that? But let's get into it. See the AI agent? What if I tell you that you can build your own AI agent node fully customizable with code, with multiple chat models, multiple memories, and many more. Well, meet this node. This is the most important node in our parent for agentic and AI workflows in any ten. This node is the LAN chain node. Now, when you go to add node, you may not see it. So just go to AI. It's not here. All right, I go to others. It's not here. You need to go to miscellaneous and there you'll have it land chain go click on it and you'll get this node now at first you might say there's no input no output what the hell does this node do well this node as i said is the cornerstone of all the ai nodes in n10 the land chain code node is the source of all the n10 ai node all the ai nodes in n10 under the hood in the back end are actually this node so let me show you an example click on it we need to add an input all right i go by type i can select the type of input i will say main input all right i can also determine how many connections but let's leave it at that so here we now have an input all right but you're saying that something not like that's not convincing all right, all right. We just add another input. We select type. We go, for example, for memory. Looks kind of familiar. And the good advantage is let's go to the agent node. For example, we go select a simple memory, for example. And uh, that's it. We just select one memory source and that's it. But if we go to here, we select a simple memory, it's still open, so we can select multiple memories. So let's go MondoDB for example, let's go, I don't know, Postgres. As you can see, you have multiple sources of memory. Now this is a huge, but this isn't the end. Let's go back and we added memory. Now let's say I want a language model, all right? And if we go back, now the same principle goes. Like if we go back to our AI agent node, if we go and select Anthropic, for example, that's it. Just one mod. All right, we select. We select Anthropic. And we select DeepSeek, for example. And for good measure, let's just add the tried and true open AI. Let's. Uh, Organize it, tidy up the workflow. And as you can see, we have multiple memories, multiple models, and it just doesn't end. Like, all right, we add the multiple inputs, but we need to add an output. All right, of course, the same we can choose the type of output that we want. So we just use main. Now we have an output and it's properly connected. This is a huge, and you can see it looks like uh, the other node. This is the power of the land chain. This node is basically all of the AI nodes again in the back. But now you know how to access it, how you can customize it. The most important part of it is the customization. And nothing shows this more than this. Add code. You can actually add code to this node. In addition to all of the additions, multiple LLMs, multiple memories, multiple tools, multiple everything, you can add your own custom code. Now, since it's LAN chain, you can use other LAN chain products. For example, let's say LangSmith. If you don't know LangSmith, LangSmith is basically for monitoring. It's not very important. We won't get into it today. But as you can see, you can add your own code and it's very powerful. Basically, any AI node, let's add an AI node. All right, the basic LLM chain, for example. We already built that because it's just a model and an output. We go, we take another example. And uh, let's go with uh, text classifier. All right. It's an input, a model. And if you know text classifier, we can add categories, for example, category A, B, C, 
whatever multiple outputs basically we can already do that because if we go back here and we add another output for example and we choose another type for example i don't know a text splitter or whatever document uh, whatever you want uh, you're free to choose basically any node you see here you can build it with Lanchain code this is one of the biggest secrets of anything this node is very powerful it lets you do whatever you want multiple agents multiple models multiple memories and it has code execution not a lot of people know it it's very well hidden you have to <laughs> literally dig deep and when you find it and when you know how to use it it's very powerful that has been the secret N10 node. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, consider subscribing and join our community and check out our shop. And hopefully, I will see you guys soon. Goodbye.